Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jess and this is my channel. I do a lot of videos on fashion and style regarding quality staple pieces that will last in your closet for a long, long time, along with vlogs and beauty videos. Today's gonna be a little bit different because I haven't done a Zara haul in a long time. So usually when I do Zara hauls, I try to find pieces that will be staple pieces in your closet for a long time, just at a more affordable price. But today I'm doing something a little bit trendier. I picked some pretty colorful, fun pieces because I've just been in that spring summer mood I'm feeling pastels and feeling color so I'm really excited about this hopefully you guys like it too even though these pieces are a little trendier there are ways to incorporate them into your closet so that you will have them for more than one season so I'm going to show you a little bit about like how I would style them in a couple different ways so you're not just buying it and wearing it once so let's get started so first of all is this pink dress if you watch my vlogs, I like got one pink sweatshirt, like a light pink sweatshirt, and it's kind of like ignited this love for light pink for me and then pastels. So I don't know what's happening, but I really like it. I think it's just such a fun shape as well. It's a half zip sweater dress and like half zip sweaters in general are definitely making a comeback this season. So when I saw it in a dress form, I just knew I had to get it. It's a very lightweight knit. It's not even a knit. It's more like a jacquard. It just looks like a knit because of the ribbing. I'm wearing a size medium because of course I have my baby bump that needs extra room and I think the length is perfect. It's just right above my knee. I would wear shorts underneath like bike shorts underneath so that I feel extra comfortable. I styled them here with knee high boots. These are some suede cowboy inspired ones. I am looking for some flat riding boots that I think would look super cute with this dress as well. And this thing is super easy. It's very loose, it's very comfortable, something that you can just throw on, but it still looks really put together. And if you wanna be a little bit more casual, just some low top sneakers would be really fun for summer. Before it gets like super warm out, you can layer it with like a super long over shirt like this, which I'll show you styled in different ways too. This is also from Zara. This is a very like Eastery, pastel-y colored vibe. And this is that shirt dress worn as a dress on its own. It's a little bit see-through, so you can wear a slip, like a nude slip underneath like this, or just wear a nude underwear depending on how comfortable you are. I didn't wear one right now just because I know that it won't show on camera, but in person, it is just slightly see-through. It's got this beautiful texture to it. It's 100% cotton. I think it is from their lingerie line. It's definitely public appropriate lingerie, I guess. I'm wearing it in a size medium. It's definitely super oversized, so if you are pregnant, you could probably get away with a true to size for you. I just wanted to make sure I had enough fabric for my belly, and then as it gets bigger, then it will still fit. And I styled it with some low top sneakers here. So this is definitely not one of the trendy pieces, this is definitely a piece that I will have in my closet for a long, long time because I'm always looking for new versions of oversized like button up dresses because you can wear it as a shirt, you can wear it as a dress, you can wear it as an overshirt, so many possibilities. So I definitely would say take a peek at this one if you want to add a really good staple to your closet. It's an off-white, it's definitely a little bit more of like an accru, like a yellow off-white, which is really, really great for spring and I think goes with like a lot of the neutrals that I have already in my closet and if you want to dress them up you can put on some booties these are some like ankle length western style booties from Neverlane and if you want to add a pop of color you can choose one of the many colorful vests Zara has right now this is a bright yellow one it's quite cropped so I definitely have to wear over stuff for a while until I can wear my high-waisted jeans again but I think it would look so cute with high-waisted shorts and high-waisted jeans in the spring or over a shirt dress like this. I'm wearing it in a size medium. Again, I sized up. I think that even if I didn't have my baby belly, sizing up would be nicer because then you have more room in the armpit area to layer it over things as well as wear it alone. So next up is this bright blue number. To be honest, I ordered it more so that I could add some more color into this haul and I really like the shape of it. I wasn't really sure about the pattern and the color because it is quite a bright blue and I don't have anything like this in my closet. But once I put it on, I just it makes me feel so confident for some reason. I think it's like the oversized shoulder and like the length and the boxiness of the dress. Sorry, I have like a fluff in my mouth. 
So I think I'm definitely keeping this one because I can already see so many different ways to wear it as a dress, as like a button up vest, over jeans in the fall when it gets colder, over sweaters, and then just like as a regular open vest over some spring summer outfits. So I'm wearing it in a size medium. Definitely would say size up even if you don't have a pregnant belly because I like how this is flowing on me. The shoulders are just a little bit over my natural shoulders so it gives it a little bit of like a stronger look. And I paired it with the oversized booties for something I would probably wear for a date night or like an event if those ever happen again. And it's just super cute with sneakers too. The proportion of the dress is just really spot on. So I think it will look really cute with low top sneakers, high boots heel boots or even like stilettos. I think it would be really cute for, I don't know, I would wear this to a wedding too. All right, I told you I was loving color and for some reason yellows, oranges, really making me happy right now. So this is a like really narrow, almost halter like top dress from Zara, but it's not a halter, it's just a full tank. The only issue with it is whenever I find these styles at Zara, they are super narrow and low, and I find it almost impossible to find a bra that fits under it, and I'm having the same issue right now, especially with my boobs during pregnancy, like this isn't really working out, but for those of you who aren't having those issues, this is such a cute dress. The color is so good, and it's, I think it's 20 something dollars, so it's a great summer spring dress. I really want to see what it looks like with this on as like an overcoat. This is really bright. I totally know. Yeah, that's too bright. So never mind. Scratch that. If I do it with this, then it kind of covers the straps. I don't know. You guys let me know. Should I keep this dress or is it just a little bit too difficult and I just don't think I'm going to wear it. And I'm wearing a size medium in this. I feel like you can go true to size with this if you don't have a pregnant bump, but if you do, definitely give it some extra room by ordering up a size. This is one of my favorite dresses of the haul. It's this like neon minty green ribbed dress. I have been craving like the Baskin Robbins mint chocolate chip ice cream basically for the last two months. So this is like my cravings in clothing form. I know it's like super bright but there's just something so fun and like fresh about it. So I think I'm definitely keeping this. I don't know like obviously how many times I'll wear it, but every so often I'll get a piece that I know I'll probably just wear it for one season and I can live with that. So this is in a size small. I decided to order true to size because I knew it was like a ribbed knit material so it could stretch. I just wanted to make sure that the arm area and the armpit area would be fitted because just the shape of the dress, if it was too wrinkly, just would really mess with proportions. And the length is perfect. It's right above my ankle. So it's kind of like this like midi dress and I think it looks really good with the sneakers. I probably might do some like gladiator sandals or lace-up sandals in the summer. I decided to try it on with some heeled booties and I think it actually looks pretty good too. So this is how I would probably dress it up for spring. Next up is this strapless black jersey dress. Like initially I love the idea of the shape cause I like showing off my shoulders and collarbone, but it has like this band basically that I feel like I'm in a straight jacket and I can't really do much with my arms. And like anytime I move it up, then the flap goes up. So this would be like a dress that you would wear somewhere where you're not moving around a lot. Like I can't even fix my hair without it holding up. I'm wearing it in a size medium. I just wanted that extra stretch. I knew that there was like no way it would be too big. <laughs> so I'd say size up just for that extra room. It's still going to stay your body without slipping off. It is a very flattering dress, but again, this part is just too long and I just don't think that it's very functional. So I'm definitely returning this, but really cute option for those of you who would rather look good than have a functional dress. <laughs> All right, we're moving on to some sets. This is a mostly cotton duo. So of course, like it doesn't come as a set. You have to buy the piece separately. I like it a lot, but I feel like I'm not gonna wear it too often because this top part is quite cropped. It's barely covering the top of the shorts. Maybe if I didn't have a pregnant belly, it would be super cute. And I really like how it looks 
with tall boots. I think shorts and tall boots are gonna be my thing for spring. So this is a really cute set option. If you guys are looking for matching sets, I think I'm gonna personally return it just because I am not like completely, completely loving it for my body shape right now, but I think it's so cute. It has like a hood. It's very like beachy vibes. So I feel like if you guys live by the beach, this would be such a cute like beach set with the bikini underneath, bathing suit underneath, and just to wear that like all day as like a cover up. Then there's a sweater, which is 100% cotton. I'm wearing it in a size large. I'm definitely keeping this one because I'm always looking for affordable 100% cotton sweaters. I tend to find that sweaters at this price range are usually mostly acrylic or artificial materials, but 100% cotton sweater at this price point is definitely a steal. And it's just this very classic thick ribbed knit pattern that I think I'll have in my closet forever. So of course I've tucked it into the shorts, but this is how it looks like when it's untucked. And because I'm wearing it in a large, it's definitely longer than it is, I think, on the model, on the site. So you could size down if you want, but the only thing with 100% cotton sweaters that I find when you wash it, it definitely shrinks a little bit. It can stretch out again, but I'd rather have it super oversized than too small. There's a little neck opening like this, and then it kind of just curls because it's kind of a raw edge, like the sleeves. Bottom is a raw edge like that too. And it's got sloping shoulders. I think it's just like a perfect spring summer sweater. And this is another set. I feel like I like this one a whole lot better. I don't know why. It's just like the style of this one's a little bit cleaner. I feel like it will last in my closet a little bit longer. This one was just a little bit too trendy, a little bit too beachy for my vibe. But this one I feel like is a little bit more grown up and I can like see myself pairing these pieces separately as well. So the top and bottom are both 100% cotton. Another reason why I love it so much. It's a little bit stretchier and like more knitwear feeling versus that one kind of feels like, I don't know, like a hempy material. So I'm wearing a size large in this like tank vest, which I can imagine wearing over things and on its own. So that's why I like this one a little bit more and then these shorts are super stretchy and they are again like a perfect length to wear with over the knee booties I feel very nautical in this outfit these shorts i'm wearing in a size medium i definitely say size up just because they feel like quite small and they are very stretchy so even if you size up they'll still fit because it has a really tight elastic band on the top and it's knit so if you size too small i'm just worried that it might shrink in the wash so up close you can tell that it's actually navy it might seem black and white from afar it's actually like an off white kind of color with navy Again, why it's so nautical and got little pockets here. The pants don't have pockets at all, but you can kind of see that there's a little bit of ruching detail in this elastic band at the top. Last but not least is this sweater. I love like a crochet looking sweater and this one is just that. It's actually like really stretchy. It's 100% polyamide, so it isn't 100% cotton, which I feel like you can't mistake by looking at it. I am wearing it in the size medium because obviously I like to size up in my sweaters. Even without my baby belly, I would definitely say go a size up because I feel like if you go too small in this, it might be like the shape would just look weird because it's supposed to be a little bit bigger in the shoulders and arm area. This one, I would definitely say it could be a really cute beach cover up, like even with these shorts. It's see-through because there's holes in it when I'm wearing a nude bra, so you can't really tell. This is the material up close. Very, very cute spring summer sweater. And that's a wrap. I hope that you enjoyed this Zara haul and it gives you some ideas of what you want to wear for spring and some trends and colors that you might be inspired by. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm leaving all the links in the description box below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Turn on notifications because I have a lot of fun spring videos coming out so you don't miss the next video. Follow me on Instagram if you would like because I post there more often. And thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.